how's everyone so we're going to our mode um this is like three days later so we're going to our mode our coffee soap um turmeric and honey with tea tree turmeric with tea tree and uh, aloe vera soap so four soaps to our mode today i uh, usually i do a separate video for all of them but I did them all at once and it was very hard for me to keep up with like uh, filming like one part of the soap and you know because my hands were really dirty and usually when I'm filming I don't like touching my phone or my ring ring lights like moving them around so it was kind of hard for me to film them like separately so I just ended up giving you all four different types of soap all in one and yeah uh this is my hair bonnet uh it's early in the morning i just woke up and it's three days later so i was like i have to get this done and cut it and i mowed it and cut it because if i don't then it'll probably be like four days five days later and you don't want to keep your soap in the mold for like more than 72 hours i know Depending on what kind of soap like the aloe vera soap I can keep it in the mold for more than 72 hours but the other soaps I don't want to do that because they'll probably get moldy and um it's gonna be well it's gonna ruin the soap or part of the soap um but anyways we're gonna go ahead and unmold it and then uh, the <laughs> soap room is so messy right now like when I make the soap I usually just leave every when I put the soap in the mold I usually just leave everything as it is because with the containers that I use I like the soap to kind of harden a little bit like the liquid to kind of harden in the container before I wash it that way it's easier to get the you know dirt off because if you when I usually wash it right away it kind of it's like greasy and like <clears throat> sticky so I don't really like washing it right away that's just something I learned right along um, making soap I like washing my containers when the uh, soap has cured but not really cured but like when the soap has hardened the pieces of soap that's left in a container um, the liquid soap that turns hard. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into our molding and cutting. This is the soaps, and this is how the table looks like <laughs> at the moment. We got, we even got our thing right here, our recording stuff. So we're gonna go to the other clean table, this one that I usually use to ship products but I'm washing the cloth today getting washed in the laundry so I thought I could use this nice clean space to cut and I mold my soaps steamer so I can steam off the top it does have a little just a little bit of ash I'm actually surprised it didn't have a lot of soda ash especially this one it's pretty clear but I want it to still have like a shiny glow to the top so I'll go ahead and and now this is the other ones so we're gonna unload all of them so it's gonna be quite a long video probably let me just show you a little glimpse of what we're unmolding. Wow, that's a lot. But yeah, we got our mold, I mean our cutter and our diff uh, steamer slash diffuser <laughs> slash towel warmer. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and unmold all of these soaps and cut these ones that's in the mold. Let me go ahead and uh, put on my gloves. I hope you all can see. I hope I have enough space over there to like so take this away. First we're gonna start off with these small ones. I don't think they need any diffusing because I'm not gonna steam them uh because well it's only for my personal use. 
so it's not like I'm trying to make them look pretty to sell so this is the mold that I used um, hopefully it comes out <laughs> nicely because it's still kind of still kind of sticky so. okay so it came out perfect um, and it's just really something I needed to like put my soap in so I don't waste it mm -hmm. let's do this small one I doubt this is gonna come out it looks like it didn't have enough soap to come out in the beginning Oh, it's coming out. Oh. And what's funny is this is actually a uh, soap holder mode. So, yeah, it looks like a soap mother home mode of a, a soap. And I don't know if it will stick together, but I want to kind of crunch it together because it's still curing and hardening. That way, when it hardens, it will just be this little <laughs> thing okay one more of that and then so we have one more of the other soap holder mode this is this isn't really a soap holder mode but <clears throat> yeah it's gonna be quite a long video I hope you guys enjoy it I'll skip through some and cut some things that needs to be cut. Okay, so yeah, there it is. I prefer this color better than the darker coffee color. So I'm gonna stick with this color and depending on when it cures, how the scent is, I'll probably do lavender. I'm gonna try one with lavender and see how it smells hot coffee soap smell with lavender essential oil because this is a uh, tea tree essential oil and I already like tea tree so it smells good to me but I want to try it with lavender lavender I mean this is aloe vera unscented I got two customers who wanted an unscented um, soap I usually do customized soap based on your preference only when you live in my area and I know you pretty well so <clears throat> but this is the aloe vera unscented as you can see it's a little darker okay yeah the little massage part aren't gonna be perfect but this is how it looks so this is all just coffee soap uh, we're gonna ammo the first two and then the other two off camera let's see wow it's been 72 hours but it's still kind of sticky a little bit and we don't want it to be sticky maybe I could have waited like one more day This is the coffee soap scrub. Let's do another one. And then, uh, yeah. yeah, with these little massage bars, I have to be extremely careful pulling it out. Otherwise, these little guys stay in the mode. So let's, I know this one at the bottom isn't going to be perfect, but we'll see. This is turmeric. This is so this is for my own personal use. This is turmeric and aloe vera on the bottom and then turmeric in the middle. So this is aloe vera and turmeric and <laughs> tea tree. So I'm really gonna enjoy this bar of soap, so we'll see. This is the last small mold we got. 
aloe vera and then coffee so let's see this is coffee and turmeric <laughs> and this might be aloe vera and turmeric yeah Wow, it came out perfect, perfectly. So this is the aloe vera and turmeric. And then let's do one coffee and turmeric. Okay, the coffee is still not that. This is great. Oh my goodness. It came out like with the perfect little, you know, uh, massage beads so this is coffee and then turmeric on the bottom <laughs> can't wait to try this one so I changed my gloves to do the ones who are in a big mode and we're gonna start off with our turmeric and honey soap <clears throat> uh, steamer on And we're turning it to the Fisher steamer. So I use this for my soaps and for my face. Let's put it over there. So yeah, this is our... Oh, it smells good. So it's honey turmeric and tea tree essential oil and then I just added, added a little plain batter to it so batter to it so it kind of gives a little different color because I didn't want it to look like my regular turmeric and tea tree But yeah, this is how it looks like. <clears throat> I can't wait to see it, how it looks like when it's cut. Uh, the steamer is coming on. We'll just have to wait a few minutes. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Okay, the steam is coming on. It's coming on. So we're just going to wait a few minutes to get the, a lot of steam. But and that's good enough. And I just go over it three times, I would say. And then it's it. <laughs> and then it just gives off this shiny color. I'm going to go over it a couple more times. Oops. Alright, that's it. Thank you. So yeah, it just gives out like a little shiny glow. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> Our regular turmeric and tea tree bar. Which came out so perfect. Like this is my most perfect tea tree and turmeric bar. And this is it. Look, okay, so this is the before. You see how dull and ashy it is? We're gonna give it some lotion. Give it a little bit of lotion. Cause it's so ashy. Ooh, this one came out so perfect. Okay, now. Let's, now look at how shiny. Okay, this is the perfect example. Look at how shiny it is now. Look at how glossy and shiny it is. That's what we want. And I'll show you how it looks like when it's dry. When it dries out. It's still gonna have the little nice glow, but it won't be as much. <clears throat> this is tea tree and turmeric. Um, 
I wanted to see if I could add a little white and see how it looks. So yeah, this is just regular tea tree and turmeric with a little white in it. <laughs> this is gonna be mine because it turned out terrible. Like when I was mixing it, it was already traced. So it was hard to put it in a mold. That's what happens when you're working with like a couple different soaps at once. It's best to work at one soap at one time. That way you get pretty good control of like how the batter traces. This is our aloe vera soap uh, scented. Yeah. I want to get one of those molds that's like I want to get a customized mold I know you can you can make your own mold from like Home Depot not home goods from you can make your own mold from Home Depot and stuff get a couple woods snag them together and then yeah, this is our aloe vera soap and this is unscented so we're gonna go ahead and um, spice this one up a little bit too so look at how shiny look at the shine i like it these are the soap here they're dried up um but they still have a little shine on them. So we're gonna go ahead and cut them. Cure for another 
four to six weeks but yeah this is a let me just show you a little recap this is our turmeric and then this is our turmeric and honey this is our regular turmeric bar you can definitely tell a difference in them and this is our regular turmeric and tea tree but I wanted to try a different design they all so these two are all the same just different designs on them <clears throat> and then this is a aloe vera 100% aloe vera that is that that's all we made today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're new please please consider subscribing to my youtube channel to help support my small business and my youtube channel and also you know if you're new welcome 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 to my channel on this channel i do diy skincare uh entrepreneur series and soap making so if you're interested in those things please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the voyager crew we'll love to have you in our crew and um i do like lives if i'm able to it's called voyagers after hour where we just discuss chit chat and sip and um sip on that little drink non-alcoholic of course and we just discuss about life relationships business anything that comes to topics so if you're interested please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so whenever i do post a live or a video you'll be notified that i posted a video and you can enjoy and watch the video but that is all for now uh, i'll have all my business links in the description box if you're interested in learning about my business and um interested interested in supporting my business please go ahead and check out the description box below i'll link my etsy shop my website and my instagram account so you can check those out and also if you're interested in emailing me i'll also have um my business email down below you can e uh, email me about any business related email <laughs> and i'll be able to respond to you um within a reasonable time so that is that. I don't think I need to let you guys know anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next one. Amahodo.